Welcome back to the second episode in our series on modifying house plans for ICF construction. In this episode, we'll be adjusting the original plans we drew up last time to account for typical ICF exterior wall thicknesses. If you're interested in following along with our series or ICF construction in general, please make sure to subscribe. Over the next year, we'll be releasing videos on a regular schedule as we work through the build process. I'm here on the Nadura website, which is one of the ICF manufacturers, and I want to take a quick look at what the actual core width is for their product. So I'm just going to come down to their technical resources and look at their standard form unit. Looks like a standard ICF wall is 13 and a quarter inches uh, wide. All right, now we're here back in AutoCAD, and the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and bump out all the walls to that 13 and a quarter inches. I'm going to go ahead and hit O for offset and then type in 13.25. So I can bump most of these walls out without affecting uh, a lot of the spacing. So that's what I'm gonna start by doing. So let's take these all out at 14 inches. Actually, I wanna go back and create a new layer for these uh, ICF walls. So we'll say ice wall ICF. And I'm gonna stick with the default um, 0.35 millimeter line weight. So let's take those two that we drew and switch them over to the ICF wall layer and then make sure we're on that layer. So this area here is actually where the real problem is because you notice that when we bump these walls out to the ICF thickness, this doorway gets really narrow. All right, I'm actually gonna make a copy of this so that I've got at least one copy of the original plans. And then we just go in and use F for fillet. And then make sure we select multiple. And we're just gonna go ahead and trim all these lines up. All right, I can actually go through and delete all these uh, original exterior walls. Just real quick, let's actually measure how much further the ICF wall actually is. So I can measure from here to here, and <clears throat> the ICF wall is nine and a quarter inches thicker than the original wall. It's a good number to remember. And then uh, I actually want to separate my house from my garage, so I'm going to continue the ICF wall along this corner here. All right, so now let's take a look at what we messed up. The biggest problem there is going to be this doorway, which got nine and a quarter inches shorter on each side. So we're actually going to stretch this whole half of the building to the right by nine and a quarter times two, which is 18 and a half inches. So a command that's useful for this is stretch. Uh, so just type stretch. And then you basically um, window select everything you want to uh, stretch. And then you click on the point where you want to stretch from. And as you can see, I can just drag this. Uh, and so I'm going to Make sure it's pointing the direction I want to go and then say 18.5 inches. And now this distance between here and here is actually the same as it was uh, in the original plans. And that actually fixed this at the same time, the distance between these two. Uh, another known problem area is going to be um, this garage door. It lost uh, nine inches when we bumped this wall out. So I'm going to do the stretch command again. Yeah. It is all right, some other places that probably lost some space are um, this room. This room didn't lose any area, but this room definitely did. So let's bump that over nine and a quarter inches. So, so I'm only, as you notice, I'm only selecting the parts that I actually want to move. Okay. And then this lost nine and a quarter inches. So let's move this, this wall back. So one of the other rules for our neighborhood, uh, it's in the covenants, which is uh, legal restrictions that follow your property, is that uh, any single story structure has to have 2,000 square feet of livable space. So I'm going to use the area command to really quickly go ahead and measure 
the interior livable space just to make sure we made it past that uh, restriction. So we actually did not. We're at 1,935 uh, square feet. So we got to make our house a little bit bigger. Uh, some other things I want to watch out for is I want to make sure that uh, the distance between the outside walls is a standard dimension so that uh, we can easily buy trusses that will uh, span the distance. So I'm using DI for distance and measure between these two walls. And if you notice, we're at 37 and 3 quarter inches. So we want to probably bump that out to get to a perfect, uh, perfect 38. So let's see if I can do this math in my head really quick. That's eight and a quarter inches. We got to go out. I think I'm going to take this whole thing back. And then let's double check to make sure that that uh, I actually got the distance correct. Yep, so now we're at 30 feet even. We can actually remeasure area and see how we did. Darn it, still not there. <laughs> okay, let's try and stretch the building a little bit further this way to get to an even number. So we're going to go <clears throat> another foot. All right, there we have it, finally 2,013 square feet. Let's check uh, the length of our building again. Uh, let's see if we can get that to 58, just to make things nice and even. So we gotta go five and a quarter inches stretch. We're going to do the same thing for the garage to make sure we can get standard trusses. So that's 36 and um, 7 and 3 quarter. So we're going to take this in 7 and 3 quarter inches. Use a stretch command again, select what we want to stretch and go in 7.75. So if we look at this, we're now at 36 inches of 36 feet across. So let's check what the original width of the um, smaller garage door was to make sure that we're still big enough. Uh, there's a hair under 13 feet. Let's check this real quick. And we're about inch, 8 inches shorter than 13 feet. Not sure that's going to be enough. We'll figure that out later. Another room I wanted to create as an ICF room was this uh, closet. I wanted to make a kind of safe room. So let's go ahead and offset that really quick too. So offset that wall in. And then we can just use the fill out command. All right, and there we have it. We've now we've modified our plans so that uh, we have a 13 and a quarter inch exterior wall and we've maintained all the important interior dimensions. In terms of next steps, uh, in the next episode, we'll probably be uh, picking trusses that fit these spans and uh, getting ready to install some doors and windows. So if you're uh, interested in following along with our series, make sure you subscribe. Thank you.